Hi, in this video I'm going to give an overview of how to set up your router uh, to allow uh, internet access uh, externally to your 16-way um, DVR. So in this particular example we're using the uh, Aircom Netopia uh, router. Uh, so it's the old grey router and the reason we've chosen that one, it's the most common router uh, used here in Ireland. Now if you're using a different router, the settings will be the same but the menus uh, will be different. Uh, a good reference point if you're unsure is to go to portforwarding.com and it has a very very comprehensive list of uh, routers etc. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come along and just click on this and I'm going to type in the IP address for our router which is 192.168.1.254 okay so we click here on custom services and we come along and we see it's NAT which is network address translation so it's basically port forwarding and what we have here is we have a comprehensive list of services that are available already set up okay so what we'll need to do is actually create a, a service specifically for 16-way DVR. So what we're going to do here is define custom service. So um, when we come in here, it's the come along and um, it's a port forwarding range of ports. So we simply click next. Uh, so it's asking for the service name. So we'll simply say uh, DVR 16. Okay, uh, and the range of uh, ports on this. Uh, is um, uh, 40,001 to 40,003 if you see it here and normally here what we, for the base host port we'd be entering in the number 80 but we know that there's another service already using that uh, base port that host port so what we're going to enter here is uh, port number 82 now if we use, enter the port that was already being used by another service it would actually prompt it on the screen and make us aware of it. So uh, the protocol here is TCP and we simply come along here and we simply click uh, next. And we're told that the net service has been added. And next we come along and just click done. And what we'll do here is we'll simply come along and now we scroll down to the bottom of the list and look for the new service we've added on which is DVR16 and we simply click enable. And it's asking us do we want to select this device here. Uh, so we, there'll be a range in here but we know this is the IP address uh, of the device we're looking for so we simply click enable and we can see here now DVR16 server and the IP address of our router and that we're after setting it up so that's how we set it up uh, uh, port forwarding on our router uh, to access our 16-way DVR.